You know, we've heard that you uh, have the ability to heal people. Yeah. You think that's true? I know it's true. I believe in God. I have visions. I can have a vision of what the enemy's doing right then and there. With the, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, the enemy? Not that long ago, these girls did some horrible shit. Fucked up shit. Fucked up shit. And would you have anything to say to them? Yeah, Kiara, Desiree, and her brother, they were gonna rape and kill me. Oh yeah, we're gonna name drop with Mr. Ryan Upchurch because he was fucking them. Ryan Upchurch, like, yeah. like the, like he the. He stalked me for three years, telling everybody he was my man and loved me. Upchurch, like the guy that yeah, makes the country. singer. And brought them dirty dope pours in the over here, fucking around. Ready? Sure. All right. All right. So, what's your name? Tara. So Tara, we've heard a lot about you. We've heard that you have a lot of abilities that you're willing to share with us today. Is that true? Sure. Sure? Yeah. You know, we've heard that you uh, have the ability to heal people. Yeah. And you think that's true? I know it's true. Could you uh, back that up? I heal people all the time. Could you give me an example real quick? Like with animals, laying of the hands. Like if an animal's sick, I do better touching an animal, people. Usually you got to touch people, but if they're the stronger you get, if they're in the vicinity, you know what I mean, then you can heal them. How often do you touch people? It's often. It's weird, people. You know what I'm saying? Do you think this is like an act of God, or would you say like would you, what would you say it is? Like, why do you think you're able to? It's from God. I mean, so when do you think it was that Jesus like came into you? I was born with Jesus. And he just came in you. So, uh, you know, what? what's your beliefs in that case then? You know, like, what do you believe? I believe in God. What do you think about, uh, you know, the current state of the world and how it is and, like, how it's, like, lining up with, you know, what Jesus talks about? I think everybody's coming together. You think so? I do. Do you like all, everybody? I don't always like everybody, but don't mean I'm not going to heal them. Who's, like, who, what's the type of person you would say you would hate if you had to? People who take people's free will, drugs people, you know what I'm saying, lies to them, tries to manipulate, do bad things. Bad people try to harm me. In what way? They've tried to kill me. They've put stuff in my makeup, you know, like drugs and stuff. Drugs in your makeup? They put drugs in my makeup. They put drugs in my shampoo. They put drugs in all kinds of shit. Wow. That's just what mean people do. But like there has to be, you know what I'm saying, there has to be a reason like that for you like... Know, People that are bad, there's no reason half the time. Sometimes people are just mean. Right, that's true. I mean, people are just mean, yeah. But some people's true nature is totally evil. I mean, I don't know what to tell you on that, you know what I mean? Right, I feel There you. are people that are evil, plain and simple. Like, for instance, if you trap a demon in a circle and you get the demon to do your bidding, it's not the demon's fault because you trapped it and you took its free will and you forced it to do something. I'm not saying all demons are innocent, but you get where I'm going with it? I get what you're going with. Yeah, right. I, I feel that. I feel that. So back to, like, this whole drugs and the makeup thing. Do you, like, what was this person looking after? Like, was they trying to take you out for a specific reason? Like, do they, Jealousy. What, what were they jealous of? They wanted my man. They wanted your man. What did your man have to offer that they couldn't get themselves? Nothing, just people are just jealous. So this said female wanted to kill you, basically, because uh, you had a guy. Because there was a guy that liked me, and she wanted that man. So she tried to drug you through makeup? Well, when you put drugs in someone's makeup, it's gonna, it comes yeah. out on your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not going to end well, no, no. What makes me mad is when there's a kid in the house, and you tell them you can fuck with me all day long, but when you put drugs in a kid's shampoo... Yeah, that's messed up shit. That's fucked up shit. That right there, that's not cool. That sets me off. Like, I don't even know you, but you're still a kid to me. You get what I'm saying? Right, I'm yeah. Two years old. My daughter just turned 22. If somebody puts something in your crap, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go off more on your behalf than I will on my behalf. Yeah, real shit. I mean, I feel that. Yeah, I mean, that's that is, uh, that's fucked up shit. 100% that's fucked up shit, I think. Backyard and scream in the middle of the night. No, well, hey, me screaming in the middle of the night is different. It's clan me and clan me and clan me and clan me and. Little mountain dog. Little mountain dog. Little mountain dog. Little mountain dog. 
Oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta slow it. We gotta slow it down. We gotta run it back real quick. So you said uh, clan meetings. What do you mean? When I'm out there yelling and screaming, it's because somebody done did something. What'd they do? Like, for instance, they're supposed to be watching me, right, being my bodyguard, but yet some girl gets in the house and puts drugs in my makeup. Who's, who, who's your body? Like, why are they supposed to be watching you? Like, what do you mean a bodyguard? You're going to have to elaborate. I'm a prophet. I mean, I don't know how to explain it to you. So you are a prophet. Like, you're telling me right now, right, God comes down from the sky. Right? Saves your prophet. Right. He's, he's going to pick you. He's picking you up first out of everybody. There's also 10,000 holy saints here to judge the world, too. And you think you're one of them? I'm the leader. Oh, you're the, you're the leader of all 10,000. I'm the leader of what I'm in charge of, yeah. Right, okay. So, okay, so let's run this back real quick. So, to, to get things straight, so you're screaming in the middle of the night is what I'm understanding, right? For Because yeah, a clan that. meeting. But where'd the clan, what, what kind of clan meeting? Are we talking like Klu Klux? We talking like Klu Klux? No, we can't talk about none of that. Why not? Because it's personal. You got to be there to... I'm here now, and see... Right, but I can't talk about those things, or else you'll get in trouble, and I'll get in trouble. Clan meetings, clan meetings. Klu Klux? Klu Klux? Klu Klux? There's eyes and ears everywhere. So you I'm think you're being watched? I'm in trouble. You think you're being watched at all times? Let's not talk about that. You're going to tell me know what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on the edge a little bit now. Like, I'm, I'm scooting off my seat. I feel like I need to know what's well, going on. What you need to know, and what you're allowed to know is two different things. Clan me and well, if you trust me, I trust you enough. So just keep your arms like this, and I'm just gonna like hold your back like that. You ready? All right, go. <laughs> see, now that we've earned this trust, see, now we can talk about more things. So, like Clue Cloaks clan. No, do you like black people? I get, yeah, I like black people. I have <sighs> friends that are black. Okay, okay. So, like, do you like black people? Yeah. Like they haven't done anything to you? No. I, I just feel like clan meeting, like when I hear clan meeting, I, I, like I think Klu Klux. Yeah, but I mean, people still do it. I mean, you know, we're here, like people you do it here. Something, even a brother wears a white hood sometimes. You don't know who's under the white hood. Damn. So what you're trying to say is there could always be snakes in the grass. Is that how you want to put it? Interesting. Have you ever had a snake in the grass before? I walk by snakes all the time. <laughs> And have you took care of the snakes? I don't really mess with them. Right. I mean, I don't either. I don't like snakes. Well, I'm not a fan. Note, if you don't mess with it, it won't bother you. But if you're constantly messing with it, it's going to bite you. Then it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Real shit. Clue Klux? Clue Klux? Clue Klux? You know, would you say that aliens are real? Yeah. You think you've seen some aliens before? I have. Like how close? I have visions. Live vision. Like that so raven visions? I guess I'm not quite sure the show's not so, you know what I mean, realistic, you know. What so I mean? let's have a bit like it's not like that. I'm a seer prophet. I can have a vision of the past, the present, or the future. I can have a vision of what the enemy's doing right then and there. With the hold on, hold on, the enemy? If the enemy is doing something, yes, I can see what they're doing right then and there if it's revealed. Who's the enemy? It could be aliens, anything. You got bad people, you got, you know what I'm saying? So could you, like, uh, tell us one of the visions you've had before? Probably the craziest one? The craziest one was a live vision a couple weeks ago of an alien spacecraft coming up out of the water. Up out of the water? Where you know where that was at? California. And what, what was the purpose of you having that vision, do you know? To alert us that it was trying to come up out of the water. So, with that being said, like, you know, you're seeing you're seeing visions and stuff like God's clearly like giving you signs of stuff that's going on. Like, do you ever like take action and alert people, and you know like let them know? Who I'm supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> clan me and clan me and clip clock. So when did you figure out you were a prophet? You think? I don't know. About four years ago. And what? Wh how did that happen? Like what? What led to that? On video, levitating off the bed, prophesizing in another language. So like, so you're like, it's like out of that exorcist, basically. Like you're floating in the air, type shit. Like no, saying God, Sam's God language. Showed me is an angel picked picked me up, like an actual angel. And you know they're bigger, actually. So like I was in his hand, I guess, and my legs were dangling, and they, you know, a couple of them move you around. But God takes your soul out just for a little bit, and He speaks through you. And where was you at when this happened? 
here somewhere in Tennessee. You don't remember? <laughs> no, because I was asleep. So how did you get there, though? Like, you know, I'm, I'm saying? always asleep when I prophesize. What's probably the craziest healing you've done, you think? Brought people together. Uh, in like what way? Apparently they've seen this stuff and they've come together to help me. So do you think you've uh, like changed and helped a lot of people's lives since you figured out you were a prophet? I'm sure I did. There's still a lot of questions, you know. Right, so do people be doubting that? Like do people not believe you? No, I wouldn't say that. I'd probably doubt myself sometimes. You know, telepathic communication, prophet, uh, you know, seeing through, you know, all this shit, right? Sounds like to me like you're a superhero, right? Sounds like you're on the same level as like Thor, the Hulk, shit like that. I know the Jolly Green Giant's real. <laughs> what makes you think that? I've seen that thing. He's Where at? was one of these trees and huge. I seen him in the backyard once. And you're in this backyard here? Mm-hmm. Wow. So. Listen, wow. there was a tree that moved itself, and people got to finally see the fucking tree move itself. Right. I was like, I told y'all, that shit was crazy. Yeah, a bunch of people was over there, and a bunch of people were back there looking. The tree brought his arm down and moved, went like this and put it back up. I was like. That's some crazy shit. Like, uh, y'all see that? That's They're some like, Harry Potter shit. <laughs> so is there anything that you could say to this uh, camera here? Maybe give some advice to, you know, people out there? We're supposed to love one another, you know what I mean, to get better. And I told these aliens they ain't leaving alive. I mean, I mean business with that. that yeah. yeah that, was, that was more of like a statement. Like, that aliens, they ain't leaving this fucking earth alive, I tell you that. Welcome to earth, motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> you know? Right, yeah. So, so you're an alien fighting prophet. I'm just trying to keep us safe and alive. I fuck with that. I mean, I do need someone to keep me safe and alive. I mean, I really don't fuck with the idea of aliens taking I think my we shit. Need more healers because the fact that it drains so much to heal all the time. You know what I mean? Especially sick kids and stuff. Yeah. I was helping heal a sick kid that can't breathe on an oxygen tank, and usually I don't always feel their pains. But I mean, it took the breath out of me. Like I couldn't breathe. I thought it was an adult with COPD. It was bad. God's real. And if they don't start bowing down to God, then I don't know what to tell you, you know what I mean? You should always fear the Lord. I don't, it's not saying be disrespectful to the other gods either, you know what I mean? Right. They've come here to help us. Well, see, this, uh, I also interviewed this uh, woman not too long ago that has kind of a similar story. And she told me that how it happened with her. She got bit by a brown recluse. And that's what kind of caused it. And then now she's able to heal people. I don't know about none of that. Welcome to Earth, motherfuckers. Welcome to Earth, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> clan me and clan me and click clucks. And you, you believe in the uh, like the afterlife going to heaven and hell type deal? Oh yeah. Then you believe in reincarnation? I do now. Why so? Because there's only so many human souls left on Earth, so we must be recycled. So he's gonna weed us out. Some going to the lake of fire, and some ain't. Interesting. Do you so like you said you believe in reincarnation? Does that mean you believe in like uh? Like your sister and your dog that you bought the other day? or I didn't buy no dog. Yeah, I'm saying for in the example that you did buy a dog. Like, you believe that, you know, someone dead could be in that, like, soul of the dog? I think dogs come back as dogs and cats come back as cats and people come back as people. Right. This is different lives. Yeah. Clip clocks? How long before do you think uh, the aliens take over? They're not taking over. Because of you? No, a bunch of us. Like you're gonna come to so like I said, you're like the Avengers essentially. You you're here to essentially save us from a, a a greater kind, a bigger, you know, an alien, essentially, with your superhero ass powers. Like that's basically what you're telling me. Like you're you are essentially the next Avengers movie. I guess. That's what it sounded like. I mean, like I said, they are always fighting aliens and the shit. They got superpowers, you got superpowers, and you're fighting aliens. I mean, it's just adding up. I I guess. Welcome to Earth, motherfuckers. Do you think in your lifetime you'll see a million dollars? When I get married. Why? When you get married? Because I have a trust fund. You have a trust fund? Mm -hmm. For what reasoning? It's what was given to me, but I have to be married. In order to get it? Yeah. Wow, that kind of sucks, I feel like. It does. Yeah, you don't want to be married. <laughs> I didn't say that, but the people that were coming forth to be married to me, 
They were starting shit, fucking around with dirty dope pours and fucking buying their dope to put in my makeup and stuff. And then they run around, act like they love me. And then when somebody else shows interest, all of a sudden they want to come back. You know what I mean? So how do you feel about dirty dope pours? I don't want to go there. This is going to make me mad. Nah, nah. I mean, we talked no, a lot about dirty dope pours. They put shit in my stuff. You know what I mean? And they you put shit in the kids' stuff. I know that, but not that long ago... These girls did some horrible shit. Fucked up shit. Fucked up shit. And would you have anything to say to them? Yeah, Kiara, Desiree, and her brother, they were going to rip and kill me. Oh, shit, we're name dropping. Oh, yeah, we're going to name drop with Mr. Ryan Upchurch because she was fucking him. Ryan Upchurch? Like, yeah. Like the, like he the... stalked me for three years telling everybody he was my man and loved me. Like Upchurch, like the guy that yeah, makes... Yeah, the singer. And brought them dirty dope pours in the, over here fucking around. So you and Upchurch were a thing, right? And no, then, we've never been a thing. I never met this man. But you were supposed to be a thing. I don't even know. I have no clue. You so know what I'm what, saying? So hold on. Then where did Upchurch come from? Don't ask me. He just showed up. He just showed up. So he showed up with these, these... No, these girls were already here. And when they found out that he was really Mr. Upchurch, that's when they laid into it. Right, but Up Church was supposed. To, you were supposed to be in love with this guy. You were supposed to marry Up Church. I don't even know him. Interesting. So, I'm confused. I'm just a little. I never met the man. So what was he doing here then? Don't ask me. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe he needed to fake protect me. <laughs> he just needed to fake. Okay. So let's run it back. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. So, we need a full breakdown. So your name dropping out here. Right, so this has got to be a, a uh, you know, this is hitting home. Like, this is a case that you've got to. Yeah, Desiree, uh, Desiree Jones and her brother Charles Jones and um, Kiara Sauls were the three that put dope in all my shit. And Mr. Upchurch and all them condoned in it. And they were going to kill and what now? They were going to kill and r- me. What was the reasoning for that? Because they didn't, I don't know. They wanted Mr. Upchurch's money. And, Doc, did he put him up to it? or? At first he didn't, but then he got suckered into it. Interesting. So, like, they had no reasoning behind this. Like, they didn't have a... No, they emotion. just... He comes here and he's fucking all these women. Oh, I'm Mr. Upchurch and I'm supposed to be with the prophet. Motherfucker, he ain't never met me. But, yeah, he could take a dirty dope whore and go run her around like she's golden. While she's putting dope in kids' shampoo and makeup. So, like that gets you. That's that's getting you worked. Because it works me up. That's why I get upset because he sh- and he's giving people money to look the other way, thinking it's okay. But it's not. If, you know what I mean. You're disrupting disrupting safety of people in this house, including my own. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. I just feel like this is something that you cl- you need to put light to. I mean, this is clearly something that you've been holding back, and I feel like you I mean you're name dropping, so you clearly want something to come out of it you know what i'm saying i'm just tired of being used and i'm tired of them lying and i'm tired of them getting away with it right okay you know i never did nothing to this man i don't even know this man yeah like even like his music i like his music but you know what i mean people want to boycott his music for the shit that he's been pulling he does say some wild shit don't he yeah he does you condone any of it i don't even know anymore half the time i'm trying to let it go i feel that like what would you say you do condone that he talks about I don't want to even go there with him. Fuck up, church is what you're saying? He said fuck me when he allowed them dirty dope pores to put shit in my makeup and shampoo and everything else and fucking putting kid sh- my, putting dope in kids' shampoo. Can we get a fuck up, church, for the camera, though? I'm not going to go there. I mean, you might as well, man. You, you I think it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If you like somebody, then how come you're not here with me? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the flesh. Like, I'm right here. He's, ain't, he's never taken me for a walk. He's never taken me on a date. He's never even eyeballed me in my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then he sends them dirty dope whores over to do shit. Oh, he's been fucking all kinds of things around here except for me when telling everybody that he's fucking me. And I've never had sex with this man. Never. He wants my inheritance. Yeah, he wants the he wants the like the trust fund. Ain't nobody getting it unless I get married, and I know who I'm marrying when I when that time comes. You know what I'm saying? Who are, I'm you, not gonna who are you marrying? I don't know yet. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, right. Okay, so so if but yeah. If I'm gonna get married, I know who I'm gonna get married to. I'm not gonna just say yes to some random person. You know? Yeah, of mean? course. I mean, because they're gonna take your shit. They're gonna take your money. They ain't not taking my shit. Shit, fuck no. 
ain't taking nothing. And plus, I got to help people with that money. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I mean, that's probably why it was given to you. No, I inherited that money fair and square. But, but what I do with my money is what I want to do good with my money. I want to help people. I want to give to charities and shit like that. You know, I also got to invest in my money. I got to make investments. You know what I mean? They killed my whole family for this money. They killed... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Okay, let's, let's run that. I was that. in Iraq, and they hung my brother and cut his hands and feet off. For, but, like, you got money, though? Like, I'm confused. Yeah, when I get married. But, like, why... Do they have to give you that money? Yes, it's my money. I don't want to talk about my money no more. Okay, we won't talk about your money no more. I mean, we just got on the topic, you know what I'm saying? I know, but my whole family had to suffer for this. I think we've uh, basically covered everything, you think? Sure. If you want to come back later after you look at it and see if you write some questions down or something that you think that I'll answer you, okay? Welcome to Earth, motherfucker.